Hey guys, Subsy Kid here with another tutorial in After Effects, and what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to do uh, like a camera shake wiggle effect to make cinematics or even just a clip look more realistic, kind of. I've already made a tutorial on this before, but that was ages ago when I first started making tutorials, and I looked back at it and I realized that it was kind of rubbish the way I explained it. I didn't explain it right, I actually said something wrong as well, so I'm just like misleading you guys. So I'm going to remake this tutorial and make it even better so this is a quick example I just did um, so I'm going to teach you how to make your cinematics look nice and sexy like this yeah so I think that that looks like so sexy it's just like I bet I, I bet you you were just having your orgasms there so I'll teach you how to have am amazing orgasms like that so I've got that same cinematic and I haven't added any color correction it's just turn that down and just added some twixes so the, the cinematics a bit slower because when I recorded it it's quite fast because on PC it just goes really fast so you can't record it quite slow so yeah the way you the first firstly what you want to do is click on your clip and hit P it brings up position and what you do you hold down alt and click on that little stopwatch and it will be like oh my god black screen yeah um, and over here you have to type in, in an expression and it's called wiggle so you type in wiggle and now you have to type in two numbers the first number is how many times it moves in one second so if you type in one it will move once one I swear every time I make a tutorial this comes up never like when I'm normally on my computer okay that's not meant to happen just forget about that that was that stupid thing from my computer so you type in wiggle and the first number you type in is how many times it moves in a second so if you type in one it will move like one time in a second if you type in like 786 it will move 786 times in a second it will be like what the hell basically people add wiggle to their cinematics and sometimes to their clips to make it look more realistic because when you record cinematic it's like usually just perfectly still and in real life when you're holding the camera it's always a bit shaky and it adds that little effect which makes it look like really realistic and I really like doing that so um, there's numbers I use well, oh yeah I forgot I forgot to tell you about the second number the second number is how many pixels it will move in that like one second so one I'll type in one so it's gonna move one times a second and you hit comma to separate the two numbers and then you type in the second number which is how many time how much it's going to move so I usually put about uh, 10 to 15 so I'll put about oh my god go away please that isn't gonna happen that's just my computer being a retard okay and then you just put about 10 to 15 I would say so I'll I'll just put 13 for this and I like it about that maybe you can change this to 1 to 1 1.5 so just to go over it again, basically what this is doing, it's wiggling 1.5 times in a second and each time it's moving 13 pixels. And as you can see, it kind of wiggles about and it adds some pretty nice effect. You won't be able to see it too clearly. Um, uh, the reason a lot of editors sometimes add black bars and stuff not just because it kind of improves the quality like when you look at it as a whole but it actually like when you screen pump and uh, screen flash and even when you add some wiggle and rotation and stuff it's easier to see so basically I would add black bars like I did in the preview I just showed you where it was all nice and sexy I had some black bars um, you comment below if you want me to make a tutorial on that because the way I add them uh, it's pretty good nice and simple and easy quick and good okay and so that's all good and nice but the thing is just to make it even more you can add some wiggle to the rotation so if you click on your clip and hit R and alt click on the stopwatch on rotation and again you use the same expression it's wiggle except this time the numbers are kinda of different the first number is the same so it's how many times you'll move in a second so let's keep it to one and then the second number because it's rotation and the rotation is measured in degrees it's how many degrees it will rotate not how many pixels this is uh, rotation so it's degrees because the position it's measured in the pixels 
um, that's why it's the number of pixels but oh my god sorry about that it's really annoying for some reason um, but yeah so the second number is how many degrees it's gonna move so I would say like let's say about two to five degrees no more than that because it's actually quite a lot so I would say about two degrees to be honest so and then hit the bracket at the end and just click away and it should be all good and now you can see it's rotating like that and wiggling the position and it looks like some camera shake but as you can see in some parts let's find uh, there you can see that it's you can see these black edges and you just be like what the hell um, it looks so like retarded so the way to sort that out is basically click on your clip hit S for scale and literally just turn it up a bit so not too much you don't want to end up going like that that's just retarded just a bit just so that the black bars go away so about that much and you won't see any black bars and you can actually see the box that blue box you can see it moving and like going up and down rotating this is going along so yeah that's about it nice quick simple tutorial for you guys just a re-upload of my shitty one I uploaded like ages ago when I first started making tutorials so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe drop a like maybe if this helped you out and maybe a favorite as well um, yeah just please send in tutorial requests I'm kinda stuck on what to do I'll be making a sync effect series where I show you different effects you can sync to and I'll also I might be making a color correction series as well like a color correction for each map um, like the color correction you saw in that cinematic I might make a tutorial for that but only if I get 20 likes on this video 20 likes on this video and I'll show you how to do the color correction I showed you in that little sexy cinematic there and you saw some poly effects there might make a tutorial on that but just comment below oh my god please just go away okay so that's it guys thanks for watching guys um, and I'll catch you later. See ya.